Young people being allowed to participate in these activities is undermining Canadian values. Me, undermining Canadian values, little old me. This is what I'm talking about. As a community, young trans people are often underpaid, homeless, and can't find access to healthcare. They're more likely to be beat up and sexually assaulted, all while we're just trying to carve out a space in life. I mean, we're not exactly taking over the world here. Then, somehow, we're dragged center stage into someone else's drama. If you're going to scapegoat me, I'm going to find out why. And suddenly, the scapegoats are being blamed for the world's problems. It's timeless, actually, that a fringe group will claim a virtuous position over a perceived, vulnerable, less desirable group and attempt to do battle with that group so they are accepted as a heroic voice in the mainstream. And it works. Over and over again, it works. Part of it is, is involved in myth destruction. You know, I, I, I'm, I'm human. I'm, I'm, in, I'm interested in Toronto. I'm interested in what goes on in this city. But it's exactly the same stuff. As you strike out the words queer, faggot, homosexual, and insert Jew, uh, whatever. You know, it's the same material. You, you just change the cast of characters. Like, I mean, Seriously, this isn't over.